Greetings, unsettled souls. Yeah. As Sam I.B., the Ganji, the curator, uh, the mastermind behind uh, the correct views. Giving it to you live, guys. It is, of course, listener supported. That means if you like what you're about to hear, maybe you tune in every month, like Helen. Free shout out to Helen. Tunes in every single month for the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Well, you know, it costs money to mail these. And it is you guys who pay to make that a reality. And I'm very grateful that you do. Uh, once again, that is the correct views at Hotmail.com. You can donate through PayPal. All right, guys, uh, that brings us up to... Uh, let's see, let's see, some of this... It's going to be so unbelievably stupid that it's going to be hard to wrap your mind around. And when I talk about it being hard to pick who the dunce cap is, people think, oh, you know, every every show host has stuff like that. But he probably had it picked out a long time ago. No, well, actually, I, I had it picked out. And then, you know, I, I wait till the end of the month so that all the people can get done doing their stupid things all at one time. But wouldn't you know, Shazam, Sparky, uh, today, two massive dumdies fell on me right smack in a row. And I, I definitely wanted to share these with you because I almost changed it, but I already had the award written. Wait, the award written. So if you guys think that maybe these first, especially these first two, should have won, let me know because I, I, I can assure you I, I was waffling very heavy on who would get it. Listen to this stupidity. Now, the Corrupt Views doesn't normally mail dunce caps to other countries because that can be very expensive. Then you guys really have to donate. So I, I have bent the rules and sent them to embassies. Uh, uh, pretty sure that they would get where they were going to go. But... I don't know. This is Canada, guys. Listen to this. Uh, Julie Jordan is from Reuters. How does this woman become a doctor? Skip kissing and consider wearing a mask when having sex to protect yourself from catching the coronavirus. In other words, just yank your pants down and whip it in. You know, do, do, you know do, just jam it on in there, as my dad used to say. Who cares, you know? He'd say it as a joke. Uh, Canada, Canada's chief medical officer said on Wednesday, her name would be Dr. Teresa Tamsey. I really think she should have gotten this. Adding that going solo remains the lowest sexual risk. In other words, just stay home and play with yourself. And if you do find anybody that shows you any affection at all, don't kiss them. She said in the statement that there is little chance of catching COVID-19 from semen or vaginal fluid. But sexual activities with new partners does increase the risk of contracting the virus, particularly if there is close contact like kissing. So in other words, it is okay to put your lover's genitals into your mouth, down your throat, into other places, I'm assuming. But do not kiss the person. God forbid they would get coronavirus by making out with a stranger. Never mind the other things that you might get from doinking a stranger. No, whatever you do, it is important that you do not kiss them. And then that came right on the heels of this, a rare.us. Delivery driver in jail for dipping his testicles in a bad tipping customer salsa. Now... I have some experience with gig driving, and no, I would never dip my balls in someone's salsa. But the, the main reason that I wanted to give the, the, the dunce cap to this particular gentleman, and I use the term loosely, is because he, he was dumb enough to post what he did online. A Tennessee man who is pretty aggressively defensive about the worth of his work is in jail for dipping his testicles into the salsa intended for a frequent customer with a habit of tipping poorly. Now, why the person took the, the trip to begin with, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really make any sense to me either because you work for yourself in these jobs. But anyway, the delivery driver for dinner delivered, maybe they can't there, posted a video of himself dipping his balls into the customer's salsa. I hope he was wearing a mask. Um, it's... 
He put it on social media with the caption, this is what you get when you give 89 cent tip on a 30 minute drive. Now, Matt Webb, of, uh, Howard Matthew Matty Webb, 31 of Tegalichi Pike, Tennessee, is currently being held in the Blount County Jail on a $45,000 bond. Now you know where to contact them if you think he should have won. Um, for dipping his balls into this customer salsa. Nutsack salsa is what he's calling it. He also obviously lost his delivery job. Uh, was it worth it? Was getting his customer back for likely $7 they owed him worth putting his balls through the pain of being covered in spicy salsa into jail? Uh, the answer would be no. Anyway, friends, this is literally this is the kind of stupidity, stupidity that we see going on all around us. And we're not even, I mean, we've still got shows to go. As a matter of fact, some of what, some of what I have to get to you in this show remaining, the audio of it alone will be everything that you need to know in reference, uh, just let me get to it here, this is beautiful. Now we have here people questioning whether or not Donald Trump should fight even though it is provable, non-disputable fact that the observers were prevented from observing. Even though it's absolutely indisputable fact that counting stopped and ballots showed up only for Mr. Biden, almost minuscule amounts for Donald Trump, which is unheard of. Even though it's obvious that cheating has gone on. We have sworn affidavits from countless people. People are saying that they should not question how loyal and how honest the machines are. All right, well, let's see what the media was saying here at the Dunce Cap of the Month. Let's see what those very same people were saying about these same machines on their shows. George Soros. Just last year, HBO's John Oliver said it was completely insane that we're still using electronic voting machines. Now, this is the same man who is now saying that there is no reason to question anything that has gone on in the elections. Okay, let's take a good listen to this gentleman who we're supposed to trust. Now, God, he looks like a pedo. I'm not saying he is. Frankly, completely insane that New Jersey not only still uses them, for plans to keep using them for the 2020 election. And it's not just New Jersey. 16 million Americans spread out across all these states are set to be voting on machines that pretty much everyone agrees are deeply, deeply flawed. And if they malfunction, there could be no way of knowing. Which is absolutely... And wouldn't you know Pennsylvania is on his little list here? Absolutely terrifying. Because what we have to do here is obvious. It's so obvious, in fact, even this guy understands it. One of the things we're learning is it's always good. He, he's making fun of Trump. It's old-fashioned, but it's always good to have a paper backup system of voting. Amen. Now, the reason I want to point this out is these are the same people now who are telling you that you somehow are, uh, there's something wrong with you. If for any reason you feel the need to question what is obvious cheating from the very machines that they said were going to be cheating you. Let's hear, let's hear some, some more of these geniuses. Let's let the dunces speak for themselves because they're speaking out against the very things that they're now saying we're all supposed to trust. Show's Denver Mayor Michael Hancock boarding a plane yesterday. And then Michael Hancock said we were not supposed to go on Thanksgiving. Remember that? You supposed to cancel Thanksgiving? For National Airport, he continues to make national news for traveling this Thanksgiving after urging Denver residents to cancel their plans with people outside of their own homes. He says he flew to Mississippi where he could be with his wife and his daughter. Come on, man. There's no oh. way that the Democratic power wouldn't practice what they preach. Look at that. He's, he's spending time with his family. Oh, but that, wait a minute. I thought you weren't supposed to spend time with your family. I thought that you were supposed to give all of that up. Paul Strange left a comment. What did you say, my dear friend? And I wonder if it's even on this, this thread. You can leave messages, by the way, when I'm on the air. I may or may not see it, but I, I will do my best. Um, and why, why am I not getting my comments on my feed anyway? It makes me wonder. All right, Paul, I cannot see what you 
right? That does suck. I'll try to get to it in a moment. Um, we have three more dumpties to go to. How about how about the very same establishment that has told you to stay home or go to jail, as it were? Okay, that very same establishment. Let's hear from them on what they think should be done as they go as they go about partying with their families. I know what you're thinking. Surely this can't be true. But a local Oregon television station interviewed the governor and she confirmed that's exactly what she wants people to do. I just, I asked Governor Brown point blank, yes or no, should Oregonians in your mind be calling the police on their neighbors who are violating the restrictions of the trees, aka having more than six people in their home at once? Should they call the police in those circumstances? Yes or no? Here's what she said. Look, this is no different than what happens if there's a party down the street and it's keeping everyone awake. What do neighbors do? They call law enforcement because it's too noisy. This is just like that. It's like a violation of a noise. So if anything, it would be a good idea to get rid of the law that gets rid of noise ordinances. So she's kind of proving a libertarian point of view, if you think, if you really listen to what she's saying. She's not trying to, but she is. Ordinance. Like, that could be a yes. Yes, yes. Look at this poor reporter just can't even believe what she's hearing. All right, and now, don't forget, we've also got this. Another, and again, I'm letting the idiots speak for themselves here. This is, this is another one. Us to Thanksgiving. We're begging people to please do their Thanksgiving work. Dr. David Davidson. Do it for each other because the vaccine's great, it's coming, uh, but we, we need to do the work together. Oh, now, but we need to do the Photoshop work together. Button. And there, it cuts to a video of two people standing six feet apart in masks holding their Thanksgiving dinner, which is made up almost entirely of vegetables. Now, if that's not bad enough, we do have here, I, guys, it hurts to even say it, but we have the winner. And not only do we have the winner, though, of course, we've got the dumb music for the winner. And I want to remind you that if you would like to help, you can do so by donating at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. The money that you give to me... I put towards shows like this. I put towards mailing out dunce caps. Guys, here. Ow. Catch another fraggle indeed. All right, guys. What if the solution to spreading the virus on Thanksgiving, what if the solution is simply to cook and eat all of the turkey yourself? You know, just you. Now, I ask this question because I think it's funny that we're hearing supposed health professionals say that well, if you spent Thanksgiving with people that don't live in your house, you're going to have to get tested. I come and come. I'm, I'm a gig driver. Like, I don't dip my balls in testicles. I don't dip my testicles in salsa or anything, I should say. But, yeah, I, I, I've done it. I'm around people all the time. But I don't know. So I should get tested if I did it on Thanksgiving? Or should I get tested every day of my life? Okay, but... I, the idea, the solution has been given to us by someone who has a name close to being a turkey. And the solution is to simply make the turkey and the stuffing and the dressing, I mean, and the potatoes for yourself, and eat all of it. All over at your house for Thanksgiving dinner. MSNBC's Katie Turd thinks that even having six people over to the house is too many, and everybody should just stay in their bedrooms by themselves. Don't travel this house. Holiday season, stay home. Cook a turkey for yourself. What happened to my eat meat? all of the mashed potatoes by yourself. That's what I'm gonna do. Just eat a turkey by yourself. So, Doctor, that brings okay. us. Okay. I'm sorry. This woman who has a name which is real close to turkey has just said into the camera that she expects us to believe that she's going to make a turkey for herself make a turkey for herself. What that does, my dear, is guarantees that you win the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Now, I, I, get, I want feedback from my listeners as to whether or not you think it was the Dumb Dumb Dumbest. Um, I'm going to read you the award and I'm going to show you the hat 
fear not. I'm getting the award called up now, and the hat is right here. Don't forget, friends, uh, let other people know that this show is out here because there's no shortage of people who wait for these, and they don't know when they're posting, even though I do give advance notice, particularly on the Facebook page. All right, friends, here it is. Here's, here's the hat. Of course, the infamous dunce. Uh, there's a turkey. No turkey. I did a pretty good job with that. I can make sure Facebook people can see it, and the live streamer is okay. Uh, this fine gentleman. Not a bad cartoon. And he is asking, well, What kind of blithering idiot makes a turkey for themselves or expects me to do so? Here we have somebody wearing a mask. And they are asking, Hey, fat ass, you going to eat all the taters? And last but not least, I uh, drew a turkey. He, look, he looks more like a peep. It wasn't supposed to, but it did. Is your real name Turkey? Katie Tur, get it? Now, um, I'm going to be sending her that along with the award. Now, you guys on HDF, I'll be able to show you. You guys on YouTube, uh, uh, go to the Facebook page because I'll be posting it on the comment line of the Facebook stream. So, that's very easy for everyone to understand as we get this opened up, hopefully quicker, yeah, sooner rather than later, I should say. Now, the picture itself is absolutely priceless. I was very happy with this one. So I'm, I'm hoping that uh, those of you that do see it, let me know what you think of it. I was going to put a dunce cap on your head, but it was uh, I found it to be a lot more funny, a lot more humorous when I went ahead and put the, uh, the bowl of potatoes on her head. So as it opens here, which seems to be taking a very considerable length of time, I am going to... Well, I can't do anything until that opens, can I? Because I can't read it to you until I can see it. Oh, come on. Doom, do, do. Speaking of, I hum that song all the time. It's so weird now to hum Jeopardy. Now that Alex Trebek is no longer with us, it's like, oh, yeah, well, it's still funny. And I'm sure he'd still like us to all, you know, remember him, but... I'll be honest, it seems kind of weird doing it without him, does it? Just saying. Just putting it out there. Rest in peace, Mr. Trebek. Oh, now I've got the spinning circle, so we know it can't be long now. Oh, for crying out loud. All right, here we go. It says, if I can read this, not only for claiming that you were going to eat an entire Thanksgiving amount of mashed potatoes, but for also not understanding that each family is able to gauge their own level of risk as it pertains to the virus, you win the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Now the reason I like this so much, as you can see there, is, at least I hope you can see there, the mashed potatoes are very nicely put onto her head, I think. Anybody. Now friends... If you like the show, if you like to watch me giving idiots what idiots deserve, then please do remember to donate at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. I am yeah, trying to go to the DC rally on December the 12th. So if you do donate, there's a real good chance that I will be using the funding just for that trip. Thank you for listening, friends. Good night. God bless.